best bear control. Versus Forest Belcher. Here we go. Okay, after a mulligan, it's not a bad hand. Two lands, always good. Utopia Sprawl comes out early. And it looks like it costs him three life to counter my overgrown battlement. And two zero five taproot commies. Ancient stirrings is a whiff. And looks like we're just building up both of us. Alright, Ancient Stirrings again, and that'll give me my Belcher. I'm going up against Control though, so I'm a bit nervous to drop it out. Well, but it's Esper Control, so maybe it would have been just as safe to play it as hold it in my hand. And there goes all my giant defense. And there's a cryptic command to counter my Belcher. Secure a Tri-Belder. I've only got one land left in the library. And a White Sun Zenith. That's a lot of little kitties. And uh, if I can play this, I win. But looks like he's going to counter it. And that'll do me in. And I'll see you at game two. Okay, one land and a Chancellor. Um, got Wall of Roots and a Caravan Vigil and I've got Belcher in hand so if I can rush this out I'll be looking pretty okay I now have enough to cast it But, looks like he's going to counter me. I should have held on. Could have used that Autumn's Veil. Okay, that's my last land. All right, play an Autumn's Veil, and it's going to get Cryptic Commanded and Chancellor. No answer. Back for seven. Eat his colonnade. A whiff on ancient stirrings. Oh, but a natural draw on Belcher.
Okay, I'll try Belcher again. Back to my hand. And I'll play it again. He's down to just three life. And all I need is a Belch. Alright, on to game three. All right, got a land, got a Utopia Sprawl, got an Arbor Elf. I played the Arbor Elf first so that I can get maximum use out of it. Okay, there you go, Chancellor on turn three. Now swing in. And he tried pathing my tribe elder, which is kind of odd. It's probably a missed target. And concede. Bye.